Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Crossfire, a set of Firefox extension vulnerabilities. Now, the biggest story today is probably not this. It's probably the US Congress proposing a new anti-encryption or encryption backdoor bill. But today's Friday, we're all in a good mood, so I just don't feel like covering this topic. It's such a stupid bill that not only hurts security, but would hurt the US economy. We'll probably talk about this at some point, probably in a blog post or a video post next week. Instead, let me just give you a quick update on a set of interesting vulnerabilities in Firefox that came up at a Black Hat security conference in Singapore. Now, you've probably heard me recommend a Firefox extension called NoScript. This is a great extension that helps you deny script by default and only whitelist what you want to allow. It's a great way to make sure that things like drive-by downloads don't affect your browser. On top of that, there's a lot of other cool Firefox extensions like Web of Trust and other things that really help secure your browser. However, researchers at Black Hat Singapore actually released information about a set of vulnerabilities they call Crossfire. Now, these are very technical vulnerabilities. If you're kind of a security nerd like me, I'll be sure to have a post on the white paper talking about these flaws in detail. But ultimately, they come down to the fact that Firefox doesn't isolate extensions or the add-ons to the browser from each other. This means that one add-on might be able to actually act access and use the functionality of another add-on. And long story short, the Crossfire set of vulnerabilities allows a malicious add-on to actually use other secure extensions like NoScript, like Web of Trust, and a couple others to do some very bad things. Now those bad things can actually include bypassing the security of the good extensions. They can also include doing things like executing code in your browser, gaining access to your cookies and things like that. So these are pretty concerning flaws. Bad guys might be able to use them to execute code. But there is good news here. The only way this attack works is if a bad guy can not only uh, get you to download a malicious extension, which could be hard to do, but you also have to have some of the other vulnerable extensions installed as well. Nonetheless, I found it interesting. I recommend NoScript all the time. I like extensions like Web of Trust. And the fact that this vulnerability takes advantage of those extensions is quite interesting. If you want to know more, be sure to check the reference section of the blog post associated with this video. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.